Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how to salvage using the new house scraping gameplay loop with the multi-tool, the vulture and the reclaimer. There are timestamps in the description to help you find what you need. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here's a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. Also, if you need any help with salvage or any other part of playing Star Citizen, consider joining my Discord, link in the description. There are many veteran citizens there who are ready to help out. And of course, if you're trying to find out where to buy the equipment mentioned in this tutorial, try using the armory, I think you might like it. Okay, so let's start with where to find wrecks to salvage. There are two main options, either you can salvage ships destroyed in combat, or salvage ships that randomly spawn in the verse. The first option is very profitable if you're doing bounties and bring a friend with a vulture along to salvage the wrecks when the battle is over. The second option is more suitable for solo players or crews who don't want to fight. Salvageable wrecks appear in all asteroid fields currently in the verse and the process of finding them is very similar to finding mineable rocks. All you have to do is ping your scanner until you find what you are looking for. Hull scraping creates a material known as RMC or Recycled Material Composite, which is stored in one SCU crates or multi-tool cans. RMC can be sold at scrapyards or at major trading hubs and landing zones like the Lorville Business Districts or Trade Development Divisions. You can also buy RMC from various stores. Ok, now that you know how and where to find salvage, let's move on to FPS salvage and repair. You will need the multi-tool and the salvage attachment and empty canisters for the attachment. Don't forget to replace the canister on the multi-tool as it sometimes doesn't equip automatically. I recommend also having some armor to equip the canisters and the multi-tool and the backpack to store the full canisters. Once you find the ship to salvage, press forward to bring out your multi-tool and ensure you are in salvage mode. First, let's take a look at the UI. The big overlay shows how much RMC there is on the hull you are aiming at and how full is the can on your tool. The tool display also shows the can fullness and the lower icon shows how much salvageable material remains inside the beam. You can switch between salvage and repair by pressing B. From here you can begin to scrape the hull by pressing the left mouse button. Once the canister is full you can press R to replace it with a new one if available. To repair you need to have a filled canister loaded with the repair mode toggled. The process here is reversed. The beam will deposit contents of the canister onto the hull and the indicator will show how much more is needed for full repair. Ok, let's move on to using the vulture. Here you will need the multi-tool with the tractor beam attachment to allow you to move the boxes from the dispenser to the cargo hold. The ship will collect the salvage materials into one SCU crates that can be moved around using the tractor beam. Once you find the ship to salvage, press M to enter salvage mode. Here are several important controls. Right click switches between the available scraping tools. Scrolling while holding ALT will change the convergence distance of your two beams. Right click while holding ALT will switch the convergence direction. You can use this to cover more area with your beams or to gather more material from one spot in a single pass. The two important displays are how much material is left in the path of your beams and the dispenser fullness indicator. The material you collect will fill up the salvage dispenser. Once the dispenser is full it will automatically eject the salvage box or you can eject it manually from the console. Then you need to move the box into the cargo grid or to another ship if needed. The vulture will fit 12 of these boxes with no issues. It took me about 30 to 60 minutes to fill the cargo hold so that should give you an idea of how much time you will need. Ok, so that's the vulture, so let's move on to the reclaimer. There are some specifics here. First, there are two salvage operator seats that control single scraping beams rather than dual beams. Second, the salvage dispensers are on the salvage deck, so you'll either need someone down there to move the cargo or you will have to move from the bridge to do it whenever a box is full. The controls are also exactly the same as the vulture except the reclaimer doesn't have controls for beam convergence. Other than that, the process is exactly the same, just bigger. At the time of writing, the reclaimer salvage beams are supposed to be more effective than the vulture and it does feature a module that offers a wider beam. This beam generates a crate of RMC about every 45 to 60 seconds. You can fill the salvage room on the reclaimer with cargo. You can also move things down using the elevator into the cargo hold. Alternatively, there is a door on the lower floor of the salvage processing room that opens to the exterior, which you can use to transfer the boxes to a cargo ship for easier transport to a sail location. It is possible to run the reclaimer with a crew of three. One person to handle the salvage in the cargo hold, one person to operate the salvage beam and one person to operate the beam and fly. It's also important to note here that the salvage dispensers on both the vulture and the reclaimer are able to create small canisters for the multi-tool which you can use for small repairs, as well as a multi-tool, the tractor beam attachment and the salvage attachment. However, all except the repair canisters are only temporarily added as a quality of life improvement. 
So, how profitable is salvage? Before we get into the actual numbers, I would like to note that it is subject to balance and at least until the next major patch from its release, salvage will probably have increased profitability to promote testing. FPS salvage won't make you a whole lot of money, but I feel like it could be a nice supplement to bounty hunting with the added ability to repair your ship. I was able to get up to about 15,000 alpha UEC per hour focusing only on FPS salvage and with many cans available. For ship salvage, the average income seems to be about 7,000 to 9,000 alpha UEC per crate of salvage material. Salvageable ships are pretty easy to find, so I think that with some luck you can get up to 100,000 alpha UEC an hour of income in the Vulture, if you're salvaging on your own. Solo, you're losing quite a bit of time traveling between the salvage location and the sail location. You're also having to get up to move the crates. If you bring your friend along to handle the cargo and transfer it to a cargo ship for transport, you can increase your profit to around 250. 50,000 alpha UEC an hour. The reclaimer is a bit more complicated. It does on paper generate more RMC per minute than the Vulture, but it has two big issues. One, you need a crew to operate it which decreases your final income since you need to split it. And two, it takes a long time to move it to the salvage area and back to the landing zone to sell the RMC. So you could bring a cargo ship and load it up through the rear hatch I mentioned before. This does add one or two more crew members to fly the cargo ship and to handle the cargo but your travel time to the landing zone will be much shorter. However, even with this, I think that the combination of Vulture and the cargo ship will be more profitable. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the first implementation of Salvage? I actually love it. It is a well-implemented first step towards a larger gameplay loop, offers plenty of options to get into and has a lot of potential for development. One thing I hope to see soon is the salvageable ships that spawn in asteroid fields having some kind of loot inside of them. It would add a little bit of fun to the whole loop and give us a reason to go EVA and explore. Also some seats for the cargo handlers in the salvage room of the reclaimer so they can sit down while the ship is repositioning. Other than that, I'm very happy with what CAG delivered and I can't wait to see what comes next. And with that being said, that's all for tonight. What do you think? Do you like salvage? Do you own or have you picked up any of the salvage ships? Let me know in the comments, fly safe, thank you for watching and I will see you in the worst.